This video is just a short little piece on why I like non lend hand versus lend hand I don't even have a tier 1 talent selected, as you can see. Static charge, <laughs> let's be honest, all it's good for is running up to someone in high step and shooting a laser beam at them. That's all it's good for. It's a funny little gimmick, that's all it is. It doesn't do good damage, it takes too long, it's generally bad. But, in my eyes, I view lend a hand as a crutch for mages who can't aim with just their wand while casting. Controversial opinion, I know. But, there are reasons for this. And there are exceptions to the rule in which I do use lend a hand. Believe it or not, the the preacher of anti-lend a hand uses lend a hand. I know, what a scandal. But, I have good reason for it. I am a type of player that does not use anything that doesn't give me higher damage. When it comes to lend a hand, there is only one case, Gorgon, which it does give higher damage. On Gorgon, there is a strategy where you can stand next to the boss and point your hand directly at yourself. The fireballs will go through your face and hit the boss. Due to that, you can keep casting even during gaze, meaning you get higher, more consistent damage, and likely pull aggro. <laughs> now, that's the only time I use lend a hand. It's more optimal on that boss, it gives me more damage, it means I can die and take a sip of water faster. <laughs> but on every other boss, it is genu genuinely pointless. And in some cases, even a detriment. Now, I can understand why Lend a Hand is considered optimal. You can draw spells more easily while still hitting your target. You don't have to pay as much attention to your target in order to hit your spells. I view that as a con, personally. If you're not paying attention to the enemy, what are you paying attention to? Your spells? If you're looking at your spells, you're going to get hit by a bolt that you didn't see or that you got that lag affected you. No, all that happened is you weren't looking and you got hit by a bolt. I still get hit by bolts, I'm not saying I don't. And I do have preborn experience, meaning I'm less likely to get hit by bolts just in general, as I have that harder game experience. However, any Reborn player can get to that level where they basically don't get hit by bolts, like I do. And the strategy is keeping your eyes on the target. Now, Lend a Hand mages do this. They still do this, but you also lose mobility with Lend a Hand. When you're having Lend a Hand, your hand is guiding all the spells, and your, and your wand hand is drawing. If you want to dodge, all your spells, so a bunch of spells are here, you move your hand down, suddenly that's what happens. Whereas if you don't have lend a hand, you can detach your left hand. You can move it without moving your spell. Yes, this does make your wand and your spells go all circly and do a dance while they cast. That does not matter as long as you can still hit your target. That's all that matters in the end. If you hit your target, you're winning. So if you can hit it without lend a hand, you don't need lend a hand. That's just as, as simple as it is. But let's say I'm casting, I'm casting, I'm casting, and a bolt comes at me. I can then suddenly dodge, and I'm still hitting. I'm still attacking. I don't have to stop casting, or I don't have to do anything like stop casting, or, or redirect my spells afterwards and lose damage. I, can't, I don't have to do any of that. On big targets, such as, like, say, say we're in crypt right now, say I was a mage and I pulled off of a weaker tank. I pulled aggro and it bolts at me. So, Lich King's there, I'm fireballing. I can dodge, very slightly, and I can still hit the boss. Now, Lich King is not that good of an example. His hitbox is thin. It's still hard to hit him. But... Take Dungeon Troll up there. He is honestly a good example, as with Room Scale, 
and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Say he's beaming towards you. You can keep casting while preparing your teleport through the beam. And then when you have to teleport through the beam, boom, you teleport through the beam, you keep casting. You lose no damage. You don't have to put away your wand. You don't have to do anything like that. Now, yes, you don't do much damage when he's doing anything besides being stunned. However, you still do damage. A decent chunk of it, actually. So, continuing casting is a smart play. Being able to dodge things while still hitting your target is a god-tier ability. Because it means that while you take no damage, the enemy still takes damage. Whereas if you have Lend a Hand, the enemy doesn't take damage, but you also don't take damage. Voice was getting a bit, a bit hoarse, so I had to take some water. But, eh, this video is not as short as I thought it would be, but... In general, you have you can have better awareness without Lend a Hand, and you can dodge better without Lend a Hand. That's two of the three, in my opinion, good parts about not having Lend a Hand. The last and final is being able to telecast. Now, you may be saying, but you can telecast for you can telecast with Lend a Hand. Mages do it all the time. And yes, they do. But you never see a Lend a Hand mage cast and go backwards. Cause they just can't. And while it's a little bit weirder, and your spells are less consistent, let's take a good boss for that, Sewer Slime. Normally, if you're a lend a hand mage and he's close, or like, say, about distance from me to this pillar, you wouldn't be able to cast and or anything. You have to like stop and you have to run. However, without lend a hand, if he swaps aggro to you here, you can keep casting and you can run. And only when he gets a little too close can do you have to put away your wand and then use proper kiting technique. What this means is that you're already a more optimal mage on Sewer Slime. Just immediately. You're also better on trash, as you can dodge bolts easier without losing as much damage. That is why I view, in general, Lend a Hand to not be as optimal and more, more like a crutch. Feel free to disagree with me, but this, but it's a way you can play without getting hit by bolts. It's easier to dodge when you have a free hand that's not controlling your spells. And you can keep casting, you can keep doing everything you were doing, except you're hitting your targets. You're dodging projectiles, you're not losing damage. And that's what it is at the end of the day. It, you can keep damage higher without Lend a Hand if you practice with it. If you're not as good without Lend a Hand, you obviously can't hit anything. But trust me when I say, give it a try. Learn to cast without Lend a Hand. Because let's say you get to Sewer Slime or some boss like that. You don't want to be the one who has aggro the entire time and not being able to do anything. You want to be the guy who's who on Sewer Slime is like, I kited him for 120 seconds, yet my damage per second is still 40k. As opposed to what it would be. Zero. That is why I think Lend a Hand is generally worse than not having a talent there at all, in most circumstances. I hope you can see as to why I don't use Lend a Hand, and I'm not saying using Lend a Hand is wrong, it just, it's more, it's less optimal in more situations. Thanks, and remember to practice your afflictions, your frosts, and your fireballs.